Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Shantae. It's been a few days since I recorded this because I recorded quite a bit at once. But uh, here we are, back. And yeah, I remember going to Tree Town and getting to this area in particular. But a little bit of the goings on are fuzzy. I don't know which one of these paths I want to fall down. Probably this? Okay, never mind. All of them are good. Because all we get for it is a key. Thank you, thank you. Well, this must be the area that we get the ability to dig through sand and maybe we get an antlion power up or a mold. I gotta say, I really like the music in here though. It's quite good. These poor things always just die by me pushing them into fire. I think that happened last time too, like the first time I saw one of those. So I gotta refer to the map. Have I? I have not been down this area. So we should go there first before we get to the store. Who knows, there might be something interesting. Okay, so... I'm just never gonna get the card for those, because I don't think I get the card if they melt on the fire. Hello, treasure. Oh, cool, another key. Well, I'm glad I came this way. Oh, but at the same time, I don't have the power needed. So the power must be over here. Oop, just hit my mic. All because I had just had to scratch my face. Damn it. Okay. So, get some moving platforms. Doesn't seem too terribly difficult. I usually get squeamish in these areas, though, just because, um, like, I forgot to get, yeah, can't forget my new dash. Um, I usually get kind of squeamish in these areas because it's so easy to just die instantly if you get squished. Particularly that fear comes from the Curly Kirby games like Superstar Saga and stuff Where you can just get mushed by stuff moving around and die instantly Well, wow, how many keys do we need? Okay, so it's coming from there I think we want this one to be over there and then we do that? Yeah. Yeah, that should work. Now we just yank on this chain. It's weird to me that you have to actually, like, kind of hold the bottom of it. Like, you gotta hold down to pull on it. I would assume just her weight in general would kind of bring it down to the point where she would activate it. But no. You actually have to press down to get it to work. Hmm. This one's tricky. I guess I gotta jump on the top of it right here. Yeah. Oh, oh geez. I, I didn't realize that that was one of the platforms that fall. That was my bad. Okay, that was very, very dangerous. Oh, God. Okay, getting the timing down on those is gonna be very, very hard for me. Like, knowing when they... No, knowing when they switch to their other spikes is what I'm trying to say. Okay, well, I'm really, really glad I have that cactus card on, because I think I would already be dead if I had a... Okay. Oh. oh. Okay, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't move, because I was kind of jammed into the wall there. This might take a few tries. Uh, oh. oh. I could have made it, but I jumped and I was about to dash. And I hit the spikes there. Okay, you know what? Maybe me jumping on the things is just incorrect. Maybe I'm just supposed to new dash to all of these. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot easier. I was making that way harder than it needed to be. It's kind of early in the morning, so if I have any dumb moments, excuse me. Hello. I would indeed like to save my progress, old man. All right. So, yeah, hopefully this is where I get the ability. <clears throat> Certainly looks like it. Yeah, there's Risky. Risky boots. So. You weren't behind the abductions after all. Then it must have been the plant thing that I saw before. 
But what in the world was it? And where are the others? Aww. Oh, ho, are you asking Risky Boots, the queen of the seven seas, for help? Huh. The true rulers of this island are not the land lovers up above, but rather the sirens that dwell deep down below. Sirens? Seven in all. Five that rule over their domains, one wretched runaway, and the one of whom they will not speak. If you wish to save your friends, you must destroy the seven sirens. But you first... You get past me! A. Alright, Risky. I've, I've kicked your ass before. I can do it again. And this time, I can attack faster. Oh, whoops. Let's go ahead and switch to this. Ow. Okay, you're a little bit more effective this time. I'll give you that. Getting big damage down on you, though. Gotta watch my HP, though. Okay, well, never mind. My, you're persistent. You needn't worry. I didn't come to this island to capture your friends. Those sirens can do whatever they want with them. I'm after the real treasure. Ta-ta. Hmm. Treasure? What in the world is she talking about? Okay, well, we gotta heal up a little bit after that. Although I beat Risky much faster that time, she did sort of kick my ass. Because I was kind of just blindly taking damage and beating the shit out of her as much as I could. Hello. Vera! Are you alright? <sighs> Snap out of it. Uh-huh. What? Where, where am I? Oh my, was I asleep? Hold on, I'll get you out of there. Seems like this prison was designed to put you underwater. How do you feel? A bit disoriented, but fine otherwise. Thanks much, Bunches, for coming to my rescue. Here, I have something for you. Gastro drill. What's this? You know what that is. That is a magical fusion coin. It'll allow you to transform instantly into a new form. This one bears the mark of a gastro drill. Gastro drill? Gastro drills are burrowing creatures who move through the dirt. Using its abilities, you may be able to locate the source of evil in this place. Leave it to me! I promise to do my very best! Press against the soft surface with left stick to drill. Give it a shot. Okay, that's an easy input. I was thinking, I was like, what's gonna be the input for this? But is there a reason for me to get rid of all this sand? I feel like there's something hiding in it, but possibly not. I don't think there is. Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, wait, how am I supposed to get up there? But no. The answer was quite clear. Okay, I don't think there's anything hiding in here. I don't think. Okay, so this is the one area here we haven't been to, right? Yeah. Cool. This one's really easy to input and do. I really like the music in this area. It's nice. Does this do damage, I wonder, if I run into things? I don't know. I thought I would come over here since this seems like it could be a dead end since that one leads down. Yeah, okay, so we just get a key here. Glad I came. Alright, so we need it to be right there. Is that really that simple? Wow, it is. Okay. All I have to do is move it once. I mean, probably a lot of them have been that simple. <clears throat> there we go. You got key. Alright, so out of here. Ooh. Wait. I see you. Hmm. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's how I do it. Yeah, I, I saw this area kind of hiding up here. Where does this go? Does this just lead me back up? It does. Okay, so no, I want to I wanna go investigate this down here first. But we learned something valuable from that, that you can... Like, if you're climbing on the wall as a newt, that counts to let you go ahead and enter the sand. 
that is a useful bit of information to find out. Hello, treasure. I got a map. Aren't we almost done with this place anyway? We are. Almost done with this place. Um, I mean, do I want to go fight the boss now? Or do I want to go back up there and grab that stuff that I clearly missed? I think maybe we want to go back up here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do with our time. Because who knows, I could get... Well, I wouldn't get a heart holder. But there might be something good I can get from this. And we don't have to walk too terribly far to get back to these previous locations. So it won't be that bad. Yeah, this one's just right here. Cool. Heart squid. There's probably another one hiding, uh... Well... Not probably, there is one more hiding in here. There's not any probably about it. Boy, I have a lot of money. I can't wait to get back and spend that. Okay, so now I think we just go up to the right, grab that, and then we loop back around to the beginning, grab those two things, and then we can go back and fight the boss. Probably a good way of handling this. I'm just in my head thinking, like, I don't know, to me it seems right to complete the, uh, turn that off. To me, it seems right to kind of complete the area before I do the boss, but there might not be a reason to. It might, it might even be more efficient to just go do the boss now and then wrap these things up as we're heading back up to the surface anyway. Okay, so what we got up here? I gotta say, this wasn't what I expected for the item we were gonna get. Am I supposed to be able to get that? Because I don't think I can get that. Can I stand on these? No. Hmm. Huh, I I kind of assumed you'd you'd be able to get all hard squids, like in a dungeon when you hit that dungeon, but I might not actually have the ability to do this yet. Yeah, because it doesn't come out fast enough. I don't think... Like, I'm... I was kind of thinking maybe I need to shoot up there to get it. But no, that's not the case at all. I don't have any sort of higher jump. And unfortunately, like in other games, just making contact with the thing isn't enough. We don't have an ability I'm forgetting about, do we? Do we have anything that lets us jump higher? Like, just slightly? Zip up walls, rocket travels faster, zero damage from spikes, fireballs consume less. And the items we have... Oh! The Seer Dance, I completely forgot about that. Okay, that might help us out here. Indeed it does. I thought it would have been weird for us not to be able to get all the heart squids in this area. Yeah, not surprised I forgot about the Seer Dance, considering uh, <laughs> it's been a bit. Alright, so... That other stuff is right back at the beginning where we have to go anyway to get out of here, so I do think we're gonna go fight the boss now. It just makes sense to me. Unless it sends us back up there anyway, which would be unfortunate. Alright, so... Gotta walk back over here. Luckily, it's not too far. That one was just kind of out of the way, so I thought it might be useful to go over there. I don't even know what's hiding in those next few areas over there. We still have one key to use, too. I'm not sure where that goes. Wait, where did I go? Oh, I went too far. Alright, so down, down. Whoop. Yeah, can we get in this, please? It moves faster if we do that. Oh, hey, I can actually kill you rather than... Hey. Although, those are kind of hard to kill. Well, let's not bother with those. Yeah, I was about to say, I still have a key left. Where does this go? All right, boss time. 
so... Oh, jeez. Some of these. I don't like these. Is there anything hiding up there? No, that's just... Uh, the boss room is above us. Okay. I remember quite a few areas that had this, like, sand stuff in it, so... Interested to see what we can do with this new power-up now. I know there were a couple of... Oh, we do have to go back up. Okay. Okay, heard you loud and clear. We do have to go back up to those rooms that we missed. Okay, that one quite enough. I think if I get a better jump here... Yeah, there we go. So, we have to go all the way back up to those rooms we haven't visited, because it seems like they have one more key for us that we need before we can fight the boss. So, I should have went with my gut and just done everything before I went into that area. But sadly, I did not. But, it's not too bad. This has been a pretty fun little dungeon so far. I like this mechanic. It was in Ori and the Will of the Wisp too, although it controlled a bit differently. I really liked it there too. That one, you, it was more like you were swimming through the sand rather than just digging through it. I still don't know how to kill those enemies, but I imagine they're like... This game's version of like metal slimes. But they just... I mean, they're made of gems, so I imagine you get a lot of money for defeating them. <clears throat> but I evidently don't have anything that can defeat them yet. Or they might just be impervious to all forms of damage. And that's the joke. They're made of gems, but you can't kill them. Excuse me? What's going on up here? There's a room above here. And it says it connects right here. But, oh. Seer Dance. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I should really be using that just way, way more. We got a lot of money for it. Yeah, basically every time I'm like scratching my head and like, what's the puzzle here? It's probably Seer Dance. So I really need to keep that in mind. But, hey. Like I said, it's been a, it's been a little bit, so <laughs> of course I would forget some of my powers. Alright. Now just down here to the right and we're back at the boss. In fact, I'll, I'll just cut when, to when we're back to the boss because it is a bit of a hike. Alright, saved you like a few seconds of time, but hey. Every little bit counts, right? Boom. Alright, do we have another plant siren to deal with? Oh, is that? I'd say is that who I thought it was, but I don't think it was. I forgot what their names were. They're Ammo Baron's girls. One of them is named Vinegar. I don't remember what the other one is named. Kind of looked like her almost with the glasses, but I don't think so. She has like blonde hair. That that girl had like red hair. The coral siren siren drills to the gills. Wait, that's the siren. What? Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm supposed to hide down here when it attacks. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be kind of hard to make use of pike balls here, I think. Yeah, I get it. I'm hiding down here, though. You can't do anything to me. Well, those are pretty easy to dodge. Ow. Okay, wow, that's a lot of bombs. Can you can you please not? Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Pike ball got us marginal amounts of extra damage there. But hey, any damage is some damage. Am I just supposed to hide for this too? No, okay, I can get hit there. If only I had that shield power up, now would be a fantastic time to use it, and I think that's the intention. I should really get that one. Alright, well, let's just have a tuna. Yeah, I did the little dash, but that's super easy to dodge. What else you got? Oh, just more bombs. Alright. I can deal with more bombs. I'll probably take some damage from them, but I can deal with them. Oh wow, I didn't take damage. 
Come on, do your do your little butt smash ground pound. That's all we need to finish this up. We can do it now? Yes, you are. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was slightly different. Is it because I got hit? I don't actually know what the difference was there. It's like I got hit. Like I took damage from the ground pound. I think that screwed something up. Okay. Whoop. Let's get down here. I know I can dodge that one. Let's go ahead and take one more tuna just to be safe. I don't really want it to die. Oh yeah, let's uh... There we go. Got anything hiding in here? Wow, you do not get a very large window to hit them. <clears throat> okay. So that's just gonna make this fight last that much longer, because yeah, you get you get a few hits in, and that is it. Oh well. Didn't take too terribly much damage there. I think I should heal up again though. I have a lot of these. Wow, that healed all of my health? Okay, that was like six hits, I think. I mean, it took about a billion hits to kill them before, so this might take a bit. At least they're not too terribly hard of a boss, but I am having to heal quite a bit. So I guess I shouldn't say they're not too terribly hard. They can be a little bit difficult. But I think we have enough healing items to probably keep us alive against the final boss, so <laughs> I think we're good. Oh yeah, and I looked at my progress through the game so far, and it said I was at 15% before this episode was recorded, which... wow. Ah, I should really activate Pike Ball there. Need some extra damage, but I'm... I, I, I just try to be so quick that I forget about it, but it's just one more button press. Because the extra damage might make a difference. You know, it's pretty marginable for level 1 Pike Ball. I should really just upgrade it to its max level. Do I need to heal again? Okay. Get in there and hit. Ah, oh, I didn't come out fast enough. Well, now we definitely need to. Can you just do that again, please? Just immediately jump? No, I'm gonna spit out bombs. Great. Yeah, I managed to get hit by one. That's actually a pretty hard attack to not take damage during. Oh, you actually got stuck this time. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, that was why she was getting stuck sometimes and not getting stuck other times. I was supposed to empty out the sand and also not be there so that she would get stuck. But I was just kind of chilling in the spot rather than evading her. I thought that her doing the fire and landing upright rather than upside down was just a phase change to make the fight harder. But no, that wasn't the case. It was just me not picking up on uh, one of the mechanics of the boss. Boy, you were on spot. About you were spot on about that drill magic. I never knew I could transform like that. <laughs> Harmony says that when we work together, we can do anything. Hey, that's just what Plink said. Plink? Is, is she... She's safe back in Arena Town. Thank goodness for that. What about Harmony and the others? I... well... It's okay. We'll find them. I only wish I had the help of my lucky amulet. What? Your what? I used to wear it around my neck, but once I was... But once while I was swimming, a big wave came and... That was the end of that. Sounds pretty unlucky to me. If I had that lucky amulet, I could help you find the others. If you find it, bring it to me in Tree Town. It's all up to you now. Good luck. All right, there we go. So yeah, that was that area. But now we have to get out of here. <clears throat> it is times like these that I wish there was a. Uh, fast travel out of here option. Like, I don't have an item that does that, right? I don't. 
In the other games, they had Warp Dance, which could take you to some different areas. Or at least take you back to Scuttle Town, I think? Or I might just... I know Half Genie Hero had Warp Dance, and I believe that just teleported you to different areas of the stage, but... I'm trying to remember if, like, Pirate's Curse or something had Warp Dance. It's been quite a few years since I played Pirate's Curse. Or just a Shantae game. Well, I was about to say just a Shantae game in general, but that's not true, because I did play... Um... Half Genie Hero very recently. So that water area must lead to a whole new thing. Oh, hey. Whoa. Don't expect to see other people down here. I'm a scientist from the Metal Fish. Right now I'm testing a theory. You see, when a mermaid's days come to an end, if sh its shells fall to the ocean floor. Over time, the shells sink into the seabed to become fossils. Do mermaids wear shells taken from other creatures? Or are the shells part of a mermaid exoskeleton there from birth? I, for one, believe in the latter. If you can bring me six mermaid shells, I will have the data I need to prove my important theory. You'll find mermaid shells in the deepest part of the ocean sands. I'll mark the locations on your map. Well, sir, um, that is not something that I can do right now, but thank you for letting me know that that exists. I appreciate it. And a very interesting theory. Their bras are like, because that's effectively what the seashells are. I'm pretty sure on the mermaids are just bras. Their bras are part of their e uh, exoskeleton. All right, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to hit the save point and then we're gonna go ahead and end this one off here. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Shantae as I just mash my face into everything to get by here. And I will see you next time.